I was reading an article a couple of days ago that said 25% of the population between the ages of 18 and 30 in America self-identify as geeks. Yeah. 25% of the population is no longer sort of a hiding in the dark, <laughs> reading your comic books under the, the bed um, number. Yeah, that's, that's pop culture. The biggest movie in the entire universe just opened. It's a comic book film. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people, whether or not they are readers of science fiction, they're absolutely fans of science fiction and fantasy. Um, they don't necessarily see themselves that way. Ian McDonald on Twitter the other day said uh, he was in a uh, convention in Poland um, where there were uh, there was a huge convention and it had the media, it had the, the, the film, it had uh, manga, it had just sort of the whole the whole. Um, Array, and he said, sort of the impression he was getting was that you draw them in as they when they're and there were lots of young people. He said you draw them in as young people with the, with the manga, with um, with with the, uh, the the Marvel cartoons, the the Batman, uh, Brave and Bold, all of this. You know, you draw them in, and you know by the time they're 18, 20, you know that's when you're really starting to feed him the hard stuff, which is the written <laughs> word. <laughs> um, you know, and I think that that's really the right attitude for for where we should be mm -hmm. in this particular era. I think, that, I think that there's such a huge percentage of the population that is involved in science fiction and fantasy, in the comics, in, in all of that, um, that uh, we sort of old hands ought to be embracing the larger picture in order to bring people to the written word. I like that the biggest problem is getting people to cross over from one medium to another. Um, yeah. People who read comics, and I know people who read, you know, tons of comics every week. I mean, they would spend, you know, forty or fifty quid each month on comic books. Wouldn't you think can of buy picking up a novel. Three comics in this country at forty. Well, that's true, <laughs> but they, they wouldn't think of, of picking up a novel. And I know people who, you know, read novels who don't care about science fiction on television or, or movies, and vice versa. It, it could, getting people to cross over is incredibly hard, I find. And uh, I mean, I, I, as I mentioned I, I write uh, *Just Dread* for two thousand and eight, and. I have, oh, I don't know, lots and lots and lots of copies of my actual novel sold, but do the guys who read 2000 AD bother with the books? Not really, only very few of them, and vice versa. We need more people who will be uh, familiar with stuff across the board, because if we have only comic conventions, or only book conventions, like we don't have only book conventions, but only comic conventions, and I've been to quite a few, and I love them, and they're fantastic, but they are exclusionary in a way. People who aren't interested in comics aren't going to go just to see what it's like. But if you have a comics related stream at a mainstream co well, mainstream is the wrong word, but at an ordinary science fiction convention, people might come down, or if they have only videos or whatever. So that's why I think we need to, uh, something like Octacon, or Pecon, or any things. I'm not advertising, no, but these things Octacon are very are, important. I think that Octacon yeah. is the, moving that direction yeah, with, with the, uh, it with needs, the it, these day, for, for the future, we need to have people say that it's not, it's not shameful to, to, you know, to like manga, or to read comics, or to only read books, or to only know the original series of Star Trek but nothing else in science fiction it's just that that's you know let people know that's fine that you know that but there is more read this you know Ian Give M. Banks try. book and read an Ian Banks book and an Ian M. Banks book and see if you can tell the difference <laughs>